Hello, welcome back to Michelle's channel. For today, we are going to study about living things. Let's ask ourselves, what are the different things around us? What do living things need? What can living things do? What are some groups of living things? What will happen if animals and plants do not get enough water, air, and food? How are microorganisms useful or harmful? Things around us What are the different kinds of things around us? There are many things around us. They may be the living or non-living things. Living things are things that are alive, while non-living things are things that are not alive. What do living things need to stay alive? Living things need air, water, and food to stay alive. Take a look at the differences between living things and non-living things here. Characteristics of living things Living things grow, move by themselves, respond to stimuli, reproduce, and die. We are growing all the time. We grow taller until we are about 18 years old. We cannot fit into the clothes we wore when we were as the baby because we are bigger and taller now. Living things move by themselves. Plants cannot move from place to place, but they can only move their parts very slowly, such as bent towards sunlight. Living things respond to stimuli. As an example, we cry when we feel sad. We shiver when we feel very cold. We are angry when we feel something bad. When a mimosa plant is touched, its leaves close up. Living things reproduce. Living things have young. This is called reproduce. Living things die. Living things may become old and parts of their body will not work as well as before. When important parts fail to work, living things die. Living things may also die when they feel very sick or do not have enough water, air, and food. Some may also be eaten up by other living things. We can group living things into animals, plants, fungi, and microorganisms. There are many animals and plants around us. Animals and plants die when they do not have enough air, water, and food. There are many kinds of fungi. They come in different shapes and sizes. Living things are called as organisms. Some living things are very, very small. They are called as microorganisms. Yeast and bacteria are examples of microorganisms. We cannot see them with our naked eye. We need a microscope to observe them. Some microorganisms are useful. Some others are harmful to us. We make food such as bread and yogurt with useful microorganisms.
Some microorganisms are harmful. They cause food to go bad and make people fall sick. Raw food may contain harmful bacteria. If we eat raw food that is not fresh or not prepared well, we can become very sick. 